Uh, hey, everyone. Um, I think you learned a lot from Professor Dean's uh, uh, discussion. Um, my name is Charlie. I'm the co-founder and the principal of XCAM. Uh, I will give you a, a deep dive on the classes provided by XCAM. Uh, you may know a quick introduction about XCAMP and uh, you and I, we co-founded it uh, six years ago. Um, you know, I'm uh, still working in Google. Uh, also, I uh, do some investment as an Android investor. I got my PhD in AI from UCLA. Uh, you and I have been working um, in a critical large scale uh, distributing systems in Google. Uh, also, he, he leading our teaching and research team in XCAMP. Uh, you may see oh, kind of our uh, students, we have uh, seven, 12 finalists, uh, you know, mostly those uh, is in charge of the teaching. Uh, as pr uh, Professor Dean just introduced, USACU has bronze, silver, gold, uh, platinum, these four divisions, then the students are selected to the US camp. Then four of the students will be selected to the uh, ROI team, US ROI team, also for girls will be selected to the um, EGOI team. Uh, yes, this year we have seven students selected to the uh, finalists. It's more than a quarter of them. Uh, also, we know each uh, season we have four times every month from December to uh, March uh, for USACO contests. Uh, here, so I like to say, uh, it's, it's a kind of pretty intensive season, uh, but also the students may learn a lot uh, from this experience. Uh, I have some numbers to show you how many students attended uh, USCO from 2000. Uh, you can see from the chart, um, the bronze level, it's about uh, 10,000 students in uh, 2020. Uh, so for Here's a typo. From 2020 to 2023, uh, it's more than doubled. We have 20,000 um, pre-college students to took the bronze. Uh, for the zero, you can see it's a pretty uh, stable on 10,000 uh, in the past three years. Uh, that's also kind of uh, um, proved uh, the difficulties that it's increased, even though we have double students uh, attend, but only still the similar students advanced to the silver. Uh, similar to the gold, it keeps about uh, 2,000, and the platinum is about uh, 500 in the past four years. It's, it's uh, very competitive, but as Professor Dean just mentioned, uh, if you can advance, definitely that's uh, kind of proof and add on items on your college application. Uh, here also more examples I showed here uh, for the finalists from 2014 to 2020, you can see some of them went to Howard, MIT, uh, UCB, uh, Northwest, Stanford. Uh, this uh, really uh, kind of a, uh, a factor uh, considered uh, to these top uh, universities. Also, it helps to apply CS majors. Uh, some of you might be interested in uh, learn CS in college. Uh, it's now, we all know it's getting harder and harder to apply to top CS uh, departments. And uh, the USACO contest results, uh, even though it's uh, like a good good division, it helps too, because you show you are different. There are only several hundred students, they are in the gold division every year. Uh, if you are one of them, um, it's definitely uh, strong evidence. You like coding, you reach some uh, level. Um, besides the, you know, the contest results, here I also want to sh show you USACU result, I mean, experience, even though that's lower level can help you other extracurricular activities. Uh, why can robotics? Uh, we know uh, here's an example, Kila, uh, she was our student. Uh, she, after she passed US 
they still bronze. Uh, she, she kind of feel like she's more interested in robotics. So she joined their school robotics team and she became the software team lead. Um, because, you know, his, her experience with uh, XCAM, because her experience, you know, work on USACO problems, she was the strongest person in software. She led the team uh, to reach the world uh, championship. Uh, this is a very good example uh, to show coding skills matters in the robotics. Uh, she got admitted to CMU, Kennedy Mellon University this year. Uh, another example is uh, uh, from Jerry. Uh, Jerry, after she passed the uh, USL CO silver, uh, he felt it's kind of a, not, you know, uh, his interest to move forward with USL CO gold or go to uh, platinum. Uh, so he applied some internship uh, to a startup company. He got accepted. Also, the interviewer said, okay, he's more than qualified um, for the job. So he worked three years in, the, in that startup as uh, some interns. Uh, he got accepted to Texas at Dallas, also the Georgia Tech. Um, so we can see the USACO and coding experience can help the, us, the even high school student to find full-time internship um, opportunities. The last uh, example and area I like to say, if you learn coding, you uh, learn, um, have some USACO background, it helps you on research. Uh, Albert is another example. Uh, he was the early student with XCAMP. Uh, so he went to China um, for the summer camp for one year. Um, the same similar situation after he passed the silver, um, he thought he is more interested in research. So he didn't find, find more time on coding. He got the chance to have an intern with Rice, a professor in Rice. Then the second year, he got another research internship uh, in Caltech. Uh, because of his strong coding experience and skills, uh, he could he did a great job on these two internships. Um, then he got accepted to Caltech uh, as a college student study AI uh, this year. Uh, in short, we can see that coding experience can help us with other activities like robotics internship and the research. So start learning coding uh, will help you uh, also about Korea, uh, we compared the you know Google interview, Facebook interview problems uh, with our uh, classes with the USACO uh, contest. Uh, you can see the USACO server level uh, will cover nearly all of these interview problems. Uh, I like to say for the high tech interview, for example, Google the algorithm and the data structure. Uh, like the graph, trees, arrays, strings, dynamic programming, all these problems are covered in the, like our class 302 and the uh, previous ones. So if you add past USACO zero level, um, you will not, I, I'm very confident to say you will not have difficulties uh, for high tech algorithm and data structure interview. Uh, you know, for high, high tech interview, there are two major tech areas. One is data structure and algorithms. Uh, the second one is system design. Uh, the third one is languages, uh, you know, computer languages like uh, C++, Java, this kind of um, um, grammars and uh, this, uh, related uh, design. Uh, so that one you may need other class to learn, but for the data structure and algorithm, you will be, you will be, uh, uh, easy to pass this in interview after, just after you complete past the zero level and enter the go to division. Uh, that's also another reason, you know, um, on your resume, if you have USACO good division, uh, it, it will be plus now to a, for your a college application. Uh, also here, you know, for the language, you know, we teach both Python and C++ and Java. Uh, these are three coding languages uh, in this uh, high-tech interview, 
also these uh, three major coding language in Google too. Uh, also, I would like to compare uh, XCAMP's uh, class uh, with um, MIT and Stanford, uh, their uh, algorithm class. Uh, you can see here, um, our class up to 302, some in 400, nearly cover all the classes, I mean topics in MIT and nearly all the topics uh, in Stanford. Okay, uh, here's more details of our class. Uh, you might see we have four levels from the beginner level uh, to intermediate level, advanced level and the competitive classes. Uh, in a quick um, summary from beginner to ROI, you know, International Olympiads of Informatics, all each level we have the class to help you. Uh, especially on the high level is, um, you know, we have um, international contest medalist to help. Uh, so this is a, a systematic uh, weekend class. Uh, we in, in we have more than like a fifteen classes in total. In addition, uh, we have what we call the, our problem one hundred problem challenge. Uh, during the, each uh, summer and the in the winter time. Uh, we give each level of the students from pre-bronze, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum uh, 100 problems in that level. Uh, I we challenge them to finish in one month or two. Yeah, this summer we, we change it to two months because some students are on vacation uh, travel. So we give uh, the students more opportunity and time frame uh, to complete this 100 problem challenge. Uh, this 100 problem challenge uh, is from like a very easy level, uh, easy uh, level problems for that, like your cycle level uh, and the, to the most challenging ones. Uh, so you got the opportunity uh, to practice at a broad um, difficulty. So this will help you, you know, to remind, revise uh, the knowledge you learn. Uh, also, as Yuan just mentioned, to practice your muscle memory, it will help you. Also, we have summer camp and winter camp. Uh, this uh, four-day camp, you will, you know, study with the students and the teachers in person, and we will have very intensive problem-solving discussions, uh, also um, knowledge sharing too. So uh, for this year, uh, the summer camp is next uh, month, um, July 17th uh, to July 28th, uh, this two weeks. For well, winter camp is after the Christmas and before the end of this year. Uh, it's an, uh, another five day whole day uh, camp. Uh, so combine all this, um, then we have grand master classes. Uh, it's called uh, for the USA seal gold level, platinum level, US camp level and ROI level. Uh, that's kind of competitive uh, hardcore classes uh, to have the students to keep learning. Yeah, this kind of a uh, 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 structure we have. Uh, so if you are interested in coding, especially competitive coding, we have all the classes, all the support you need. Uh, besides that, we also provide the APCS classes. This kind of opportunity for you to learn Java also help you to um, complete one AP class, the APCS class. Um, also, we have uh, we call the uh, booster camps enhancement uh, class two. Uh, this we have kind of mock test. Uh, it will be in winter time. Uh, also, we support uh, the students in other ways. Uh, One hundred problem I just mentioned. Also, we have more free mock test, and we have more events. This one just like. Uh, uh, one of them, you know, we invite uh, uh, Dr. Brian Dean here. Um, this uh, called the U.S. Education Forum. Now we have, the, this is a 56. Uh, we will continue work on this. We will invite the, you know, previous teachers. US, U, we also invited the U.S. campus to the two events. We invited, us, you know, Stanford, Berkeley college student too. 
uh, to share their experience. Yeah, in the future, so we may invite the experts from the industry uh, professors to share their knowledge and their learning and to help the students here to help the community. Uh, for the USACO uh, competitive class faculty, um, you can see here we have ROI medalist, we have NOI medalist, we have USACO finalist, the US campus, also platinum division students. Also, we have, you know, the inner college, they have international college um, programming contest, ICPC. We have their coaches to coach our students. Also, we have ICPC medalist too. Uh, again, uh, here's our uh, you know achievement. Uh, we have already more than 200 students entered the stair and above. We have more than 30 uh, in the platinum and 12 finalists. Uh, also, likely and happily, we have one student join the U.S. national team, the girls team. The, she will uh, attend the contest next year in Europe. Okay, that's kind of a, a quick introduction about uh, for our classes, uh, especially the structure of our class and the learning, um, you know, coding, how will help us not only on contest, but also on you know, maybe other curriculums, or college applications and our career. Uh, you know, I want to leave more time uh, for uh, questions. Yeah, you may uh, type your questions uh, in the chat. How are you? Because we have mm, about 50 uh, uh, people here. Uh, you may just uh, turn on your mic and ask me a question too. Uh, I have a direct uh, message question here. Um, uh, the question was, can new students sign up for 100 problem challenge for the summer? Uh, just know this and intend to Yes, yes, our 100 problem challenge is open for uh, academic students, also for any new students. Uh, so the purpose is, you know, the students really, really use this opportunity uh, to solidify their learning, to practice more, to have systematic, you know, practice. Uh, yes, um, I think the, the challenge from tomorrow, maybe the registration closed, uh, but uh, I'm happy, you know, uh, to continue open this uh, and uh, to give the student opportunities. Also, we have the reward, you know, every students, they get a $1 uh, reward if they solve any one problems. If they can solve all these 100 problems, they can get a $100 reward. And Danny uh, has a private message to me. How will students know which level of the class to join? Uh, for all the students to join X Camp, we have a placement, placement test. Uh, even for the introduction, you know, we have um, a math problem to test his kind of ready uh, on the math background. Uh, also for the other levels, we have um, uh, tests, we have problems to solve and based on the test placement test results, uh, we put the students in the right class. Uh, we believe right content uh, is the only way for the students to learn and to make progress. If too easy, they will feel bored easily. If too challenging, they will be get frustrated. Uh, so the placement test will place the student to the right level. Um, the next question is, Uh, can we help organize kind of group study, uh, you know, do the problem together? Uh, yes, this is on our plan. Um, you know, before the pandemic, all our classes are in person. So the students have the opportunity to learn together, to study together. Uh, we have, um, you know, study group time even before the class and after class. Uh, but due to the pandemic, now most of our classes are online except the winter camp and summer camp. Uh, now we try to help the students uh, to get online at least to study together. Uh, now for the higher level class like a 602, 603, uh, they study together, they have uh, 
group study time. Uh, now we are trying to get a lower class uh, students. Uh, maybe some can be organized by parents. You know, we have group students to go to a, um, a student's house and they can learn to get there. Uh, yes, this is uh, on our plan. We will build this kind of group study opportunities for the students. Uh, the next question is about the uh, enhancement of class. Um, we will have, usually have for this year, um, 10 week mark test um, is from October uh, to early December. Uh, we prepare the students to, you know, to get ready for the December contest uh, by one mark test every week for each level. Uh, this is, is important because um, only with enough, you know, practice, you can achieve this goal, as you just mentioned. Um, also, it is important for some students, you know, to pass maybe in the first um, contest this year because they can try more for the next level. Uh, for example, some student, if you can pass gold to platinum in the first try, uh, then you have three opportunities, you know, to do the platinum. That's also the experience, you know, from Tina, you know, the girl, she entered the, the EGOI this year uh, on the, you know, first try this year. I mean, last year, um, December, she passed uh, gold, entered the platinum division. Then she had three chances to work on platinum. Then she got selected to the US uh, uh, camp. Also, she's very strong. Then she, she got selected in the US team to represent the US to the, uh, to the girls contest in European. Uh, let me see uh, the other questions. Yeah, Ronghui said uh, our summer camp sessions, uh, we only have two weeks, it's too less. Uh, they got the conflicts. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, we heard this, uh, we know this now. Uh, for next year, sorry, this year maybe too late to planning. Uh, for next year, we may have more sessions. Also, we are planning the summer camp in China, in Hangzhou, China next year. Uh, we will have the uh, kind of schedule, maybe a very early, uh, before the end of this year, so the parents and the students can prepare for that. Uh, you know, before the pandemic, we have uh, two sessions, uh, two summer camp in China. It's a great success. The students that they can learn a whole year's content in just one month, because in that month, one month, they immersed in the environment. You know, they learn day in, just with friends. Also, they get uh, kind of get into the coding. Also, with um, a lot of you know, a similar level or even high level students in China. Also, they, some of them they learn good in Chinese too. Okay, that's the question I saw on the chat. Um, any other questions? Um, Mia, I have a question here. How many times can you take each USO CO level if you don't pass? Uh, you can continue to try. Uh, every year, you know, we have four contests. You can try four times. Uh, if you could not pass the next year, you can continue trying. Uh, there's no limit. Another question in, pri in the private, uh, private message is, we will save time uh, it's about the summer camp in China. Is it in Chinese? Um, so the the our major teachers they are bilingual. They both speak uh, Chinese and English. So for the most classes, they will. Um, it also it depends how many students in the class. For the last uh, time, you know, we have about uh, seven students there. Uh, so so they join the class with the other students. Uh, the teacher mostly the, he explained some major topics in English uh, if the student uh, cannot understand. Um, but uh, if for the next year we have enough students, we will have a mixed class. Also, for some class, they will teach in uh, uh, English. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, 
I, any other questions, please, uh, yeah, turn your mic. If you have a question, you can ask me directly too. Okay. Uh, if no more questions, yeah, we may end here. Are you end? Do you have any, anything to comment? Yeah, I just want to say uh, over a uh, year after year, we are ex uh, ex trying to explore new ways to train students, especially with a camp setup. So last year we started to use a rewarding system. So this year we are trying to combine rewarding system together with a group setting. Uh, it's roughly like a, in a group, we are, we are split student into group. And for each group, they will work on problems as a group. And uh, uh, they want to work as many problems as possible and we will reward them with uh, scores. And uh, then after the group set setting, we will uh, split them into each individual student and they need to work on the same problem that you leave down with the group setup and uh, each individual score will be added up to the group score. So by using this kind of a new creative way to um, provide incentive for students to help each other together with uh, um, like uh, individual sections to make sure the mastery is not, in, not stay just uh, in a group uh, level it will go to individual level. We are helping students to enhance the um, their mastery year after year. So uh, yeah, so I, I found the, the summer camp to be the most rewarding experience for lots of our, our uh, students. And many of them, uh, because of these kind of a long-term uh, summer camp, camp whole day setup, they are able to reach a very high level uh, in, in USACO. Uh, yeah, some of them, uh, was able to enter the US, US national camp. Yeah, that's some actual information I want to provide for the summer. Thank you, thank you, yeah. I see uh, Gloria uh, raised uh, raise the hand. Hey, Gloria. Um, <coughs> 他一直学coding，然后Python的话学完，我就想问他学完一个语言是不是再学一个另外一个语言，还是说应该是引入一个project来做？我有点，因为我们现在在南加，我们当时现在是在local的一个嗯这样的coding机构，但是他们的模式是
往上走，而且会学的还比较有兴趣。啊、呃，因为语言的话，可能就是这个入门的东西。东西很快修完了也就修完了啊，当然 project 的话可能已经找到比较好的 project， 感兴趣的 project 也可以，但是呢，那个也相当于是说比较零星一点，没有那么多系统性。啊，对，谢谢，我我也是这么认为，我是感觉这个语言学习应该系统性、持续性，而不是说学到一个，然后你停了做 project， 然后再回到我我自己个人，我就咋讲而言，我是希望他。如果时间允许，最好两条腿走路嘛，都是语言的，就是这个你刚才讲的这系统性的学。然后，如果有些 project 感兴趣，他可以选一些，就是那种，就是因为长期，特别是女孩子，我不知道，像我们本来就觉得，呀，长期这些人可能会不会太枯燥，所以有些 project 让他这个兴趣点保持在一个最高点，本来是这么想，但是好像现在 local 的他就觉得，就要 focus 在 project， 我这一点跟他们有一点点意识上交流上的一个不对。不同频，所以我就想了解一下。所以话，他现在学完 Python 的话，那如果我们要跟你们的话，我到时候再让他来测试一下，他就可以直接学那个嗯 C 加加，还是说 Java， 还是有个什么程序，有一个顺序啊什么的。呃，对你来测试一下，看看他是哪一个 level。就我们现在测试，就是入门的幺零零、幺零幺和幺零二都是啊、呃、Python 的。OK， 对，他应该有一个、okay. 看一看。OK， 二零零就是呃 C 加加的。那假如需要转 C 加的，我们有课程二零零的话，就是专门先转 C 加，然后再继续往前啊学更深的内容。明明白了，行，那我到时候让他来测试一下。对，因为我们测试这个星期就开始了，其实昨天已经截止报名截止，但我们今天也说，今天这个因为有这个哦 ，OK， 对，还可以就是说继续来报名啊，而且今天我,我看一下，对这个行，那我那我看一下，好像有点晚，最主要我们现在暑假放了一段时间，所以我我我看一下时间上面怎么安排，因为他平常其实做 project 已经做了一段时间，因因为他。他会 design 那个，所以他一直同时学语言，同时他一直在学 unit。但是我感觉那 C sharp 语言只能在那个他 design game 的时候，好像跟竞赛什么都不搭界，所以我就不知道那条路要不要往前走。当然，他因为自己有 art 的背景 ，design 病，所以我就觉得那个好像等于是维持个兴趣。所以我现在就不知道他应该重心在侧重于哪边。当然，肯定是希望有一个竞赛可以加持嘛。嗯，是的，好的，好的，好的，行，我看一下，谢谢，谢谢啊。Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, I think some students ask the uh, maybe in uh, English a uh, quick uh, uh, Yuan translate question, you know, about learning different language or do some projects and learn systematically on algorithm and data structure uh, like XCAMP, what's the difference? Um, yeah, definitely, you know, for the language, after you learn one language like Python, maybe it's easy if you learn C++ and Java, uh, it might not take much, uh, you know, a uh, long time. Also, you might not learn learn more you know by spending this time so another direction you, you do some more projects definitely it's fun it will be help you uh, but it's good you find good projects you know to help you to improve and learn uh, for systematic learning um algorithm like uh, x camp you know it will give you a long term and a deep uh, uh on the scales and uh, even competitive uh, contest uh, to sharpen your skills so definitely that's different, and uh, it's kind of mostly the, the student choice to see which one he likes, yeah. Okay, we have Tina has a question here. Uh, what kind of kids are good to learn programming if they like to debug? Uh, yes, the, um, generally we see, you know, for the students who like the STEM, uh, some like uh, thinking, like uh, logic, like math. Uh, they will like uh, programming. They will like coding. Uh, even some students, you know, they they kind of have have fun to build something. Uh, they will like coding too. So um, mostly, I think you can have our students uh, to try and and see if they like or not. Also, I like say this kind of trying may take a not only can just one class or two class, it's good for them uh, to try, say, three months or six months. Uh, we have some students, you know, at the beginning, they don't like coding, but after six months or one year, they do enjoy the coding and move to very high level. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Tina, for the question. Any other questions? No? Okay. Uh, thank you all. Uh, our session ends here. 
Um, if you have any questions, free or free to, um, yeah, reach us. You know, we have uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter account, LinkedIn, WeChat. Also, you may contact our um, student uh, consultant uh, for WeChat uh, code is here. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Rui Hui. Yeah. Have a good night.